Okay, students. Uh, yesterday we discussed about uh, writing composition. We discussed these points. Uh, listen to me carefully. First of all, we discussed the previous topic. Check your handwriting. You, your handwriting must be uh, legible. In an examination, count the number of lines. This is what so we discussed. Read regularly and widely for developing uh, a good composition. You must read regularly and widely. Choose your topic wisely. This is one of the topic we discussed that while selecting choosing a topic, you must be very careful. Understand your topic. The relevant answer are common and better. Sometimes you, you, you just give a relevant answer, so it is also a uh, dangerous one. Now, uh, come to the uh, find a clear theme for the topic, which is very, very important. You must be very careful when finding the theme. What a theme is? A theme is the essence of the topic, a main crux of the topic. Whatever you write, you must have a clear theme. You are going to explain in your uh, essay, in your composition. A theme is a major idea for your whole composition. Whatever the composition is and whatever you write, you must have a clear theme. You are writing about that going to clear that uh, theme. It is like the skeleton of an animal. He gives an example that it is like the skeleton of, of an animal. Means without the skeleton of an animal is nothing. So you must develop a theme which may cover the whole composition. It gives shape security to your work. It shows the writer what to look for when he makes his plan. It's impossible to make a plan before you have decided on your own theme. In many cases, the theme is shown clearly in the topic is in the following topics. Write a proposal of 200 words. Uh, what your school or college has achieved during the past year? This is sometimes you are asked a topic and you are writing something so the, the theme is clear. For example, writing the achievement of your college for the last uh, one year, so you know it, just give it a sequence, order, the first event, the second event, the third event and so on, simple as that, the theme is clear, but sometimes the theme is not clear, so for that matter, you will think about it and you will find a suitable theme and then do it. In some cases, the theme is not clear, and there are many ways of writing a topic. There are many ways. Uh, then you can restrict the scope of your topic and use one of the methods shown by DAFTI. D -A -F -T -I. In colloquial English, DAF means foolish, and a boy may call a friend DAFTI, meaning a fool. The letters D A F T I show you five ways of finding a theme when you when one is not clearly given. Study the following explanation, then learn the five ways of DFT by heart. DFT D A F T Y very famous um, method given by someone uh, in this book. You can follow this DFT and find finding. Team. For example, D. D means different types, attitudes, reasons are good. For example, you are given a topic, uh, the example is given trees. Now, for tree, you can apply D. You will write about different types of uh, trees, uh, uh, people attitude towards trees, reasons for its uh, deforestation and reasons for uh, its uh, you know, destruction and sometimes what are the reasons which we don't have ample trees. So this is this is the way how to find a theme. It's clear that whenever you write about a tree, you go for D first. Different types of trees you will talk about. You will talk about different uh, attitudes about the trees. This is what finding the trees. So you will also read it. D A F T I different types 
a advantage sometimes you are given a topic you just go start for advantages and disadvantages of a topic factual accounts tea time or his historical approach to a topic high importance of a topic in the life of a man this is one of the way now come to the second the first use d to find a clear theme for each of the topics traffic accident film television pollution you will work out and apply d on that and you must submit the report in the next class okay thank you so much